All right, hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to record your game console or even stream it with custom things. Like as you can see here, I have this little animated GIF going, which could be your logo. I have a webcam feed and I even have text on the screen. So you can do all this with um, free software using your Elgato Game Capture HD. It may work with other capture cards, but it would have to be supported by this software. So if it supports webcam, you'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. But I know it works with the Elgato Capture Card. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so here is the one, the preview I've made. I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. Let's close this. The first thing you'll want to do is download this software. I'll have a link in the description. The second thing you'll want to do is go ahead and open up the software that came up your capture card. Let's go ahead and do this. Game Capture HD. All right, so you'll see your preview here. Of course, it's going to be delayed, so you'll actually want to play on your monitor. And we will go ahead and change our settings. Click this. Set whatever console you have. I set it on Xbox One, even though I'm playing on Xbox 360. It doesn't matter since they both have the same output type. Click 1080p. Click Best. Then click OK. I click Cancel because I already had it set. Check your audio level. Then go ahead and close it. Once you have this downloaded, go ahead and run the installer. And then you'll want to make sure you actually open the 32-bit version, because uh, if you have a 64-bit computer, it will install both. But the 32-bit version is the only one that supports capture cards. So just go ahead and type in open, ALC Open Broadcast um, Software 32-bit. All right, there we go. Now I actually have two versions running right now, as you can see. That's probably confusing. All right, so what you want to do is we're first going to make a new scene. Then we're going to actually get all this stuff set up before we even start streaming or recording. So in the scene box, right click, say add scene, and we're going to call this console. And in here, we'll go ahead, go ahead and add some sources. So right click here, click add, and we're going to do video capture device. This is going to be our console. So we're going to call this Xbox 360. All right, and here you can actually see in the list we actually have Elgato Capture HD. And we have a bunch of settings. Just leave all this the same. Click OK. All right, sorry guys. One last thing I forgot to mention is um, to change the input method of um, the capture card, you will actually have to go into the settings in this program and change something. Here, let me show you real quick. Please. Oh, it's not settings, sorry. You click on whichever, whatever you called your Elgato, right click, properties, and then click configure. Wait a few seconds since Elgato game capture is slow. This will actually let you change the input method. For a standard definition console that's not HDMI, just click other. And then for input type, just change it to composite for old consoles. Press done, press OK, and then boom. Ta-da, Nintendo GameCube live streamed. And it even upscales it to 720p for you, as we saw with the um, little options thing. See, look, it's upscaling it to 720p, so that's very nice of them. Um, and the last thing is, I forgot to mention, if you're recording your Xbox 360, you might actually want to turn the profile to 1080p. Because otherwise, you're even if you stretch it or whatever, that's the reason why I had to stretch it, because it wasn't recording in 1080p before. And now we're also going to add a webcam. So let's go ahead and add a webcam. Add video capture device. Call it webcam. You can call these whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And since I'm using a, a microphone that's not built into my webcam, I will want to disable the audio device. As you see here, I could click microphone, but I'm going to click disable. And we can set custom video options if we want, but we're not going to. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this with the preview button. As you can see, it's not quite set up the way we want. We have our webcam, we have our Xbox 360. Let's go ahead and add an image. Oops, that's motion capture. Add image. We'll call this logo. Pretend it's my logo. Browse. Let's go ahead and use this. It's a transparent animated GIF, and let's add some text too, just to make it complete. Let's call it text, it doesn't matter. 
You can change the font if you really want to in the size. I'm not going to. We're just going to call this. We're just going to type in our text. Cube.com slash Bob. This is if you're one of those people who get your videos stolen a lot or you don't want your videos stolen. You can put that there. Or you can put the name of the game or wh whatever you want. So you can have images or animated GIFs and all that. Let's go ahead and click preview. And now we have everything as a jumbled mess. Go ahead and click edit scene. Click on what you want to change. We'll make the Xbox 360 full screen. Move me over. I don't know where to put me. I'm way off center. Let's make me a little teeny tiny guy down here. So I'm out of the way of the portal gun. Let's have our obnoxious logo in the top left with my self promotion right above me. I think that looks good. So let's go ahead and pick up my controller. I'm looking at the preview right now, so there's a, there's a delay. And that's pretty much all you have to do for the actual setup. And now we're going to get into the streaming. We know that this actually works now. Go ahead and click Stop Preview. If I didn't tell you before, you first click Start Preview to actually get the preview going. All right, now we're going to do our settings, settings, and under video settings, you got how you want it to look. We're just going to say resolution downscale. We're just going to leave it none, 1080p. In here, you can actually change your um, FPS and whatever, whatnot. Okay, so audio. If you click push to talk, that's more for PC gamers. So I say leave that off. You can set up your two audio devices. This will be whatever microphone you're using for your commentary. And you can change the microphone options. Like mute, unmic, mute, hotkey. You wouldn't really need that being console gameplay. And under... Uh, away, origin. Under encoding, this is the more important part. This is where you actually decide how good your quality is going to be. So I have it set to 9500. 90, That's what I pretty much like. It's a good balance of quality and speed and small space. And here is where you would pick it where you want it to be stored for um, saving files. I press Control alt v to start, Control s to stop. All my files will be recorded to this folder, console broadcast. And then um, they'd add numbers for if I save more files. You can also do live stream where you will insert in your path slash key. I'll give you a link to where you get that. You'll have to be signed in to use the link. And here it will say, okay, if you're going to be streaming, we suggest you set your um, maximum bit rate to 3500, your audio bit rate to 160, use this encoding, and enable CBR. So we're not going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and let's just turn down the quality. Yeah, we'll turn down the video quality to 3500. Say yes, we're going to apply changes. It asks you when you change pages. Let's do 3500. Click apply. And let's start streaming. All right. Wait for the Xbox to show up. And there we go. Now I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. All right, and here's where we can change the name of our broadcast and stuff. And it says we're live. Hey. There we are. There's more of a delay because, you know, internet. But it's actually right. streaming us. There's a couple second delay, too. Hmm. Anyway, you're actually streaming live. I'm going to actually start playing the game, and you guys can see me. I switched over to monitor mode, so I'm actually going to be playing, like, for real. And now you can stream to your, your favorite console games. Oh, yeah, this also works with classic console games. If you didn't see my uh, video on how to set up your old consoles to Yelgato Capture Card, I'll have a link to that in the description. That will show you, and then you'll also be able to be playing your old games. You'll be able to have a face cam. You'll be able to do all this fancy stuff. So, yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say about that. I think that's it. So if you have any questions, post them down below. If you want to see more Elgato videos, just let me know, and I'll do that. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I didn't cover? Oh, one last thing. One last thing. I did remember that. When you go into settings, broadcast settings, 
you can click save the file. That means that your it sorry, that means that your stream will not only be streamed to your um, Twitch.tv or whatever all these other things are like YouTube and never heard of most of those. You can say save the file and it will also save it to your computer. You can say minimize network impact, I guess, for using up less um, bandwidth. And this will actually show you how much bandwidth you're using up and the quality of your stream. As you can see, it's pretty good for us. And we have one person watching, which is us. Uh, it's not letting us change the quality, I guess, because it's full screen. Or it's not full screen, it's bigger. But yeah, that's about it. So there's more settings you can dive into. I'll try to give you guys more links and stuff for more information. But that's just the gist of it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, check out the links in the description for more information on pretty much everything. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.